Hi there, boys and girls, and welcome back to Learning with Miss Kristen. Today, we will be looking at Grade 6 Mathematics Term 1, Unit 1 Revision and Test. I really hope you are doing well. I hope you are studying. I hope you are taking in your notes, practicing and do all that you can to do the best on your test. Hey, do you want a shout out in my next video? Well, if so, all you have to do is subscribe, like this video, comment your name or username and the school in the comments and I will give you a shout out in my next video. Looking out to see you. Here is our video outline. We are going to look at the focus question, the attainment target, review our objectives, and get started with our term one, unit one test. In mathematics, we use strand. Now, this strand that we will be revising is numbers. We will be looking on place value, expanded notation, exponential form, and sets in this revision. Here we have our attainment targets. They are paired with focus question 1 and focus question 2. The FQ is for focus question. First attainment target is to know the value of numbers and associate them with their names and numbers. Second is to make and interpret Venn diagrams. You can pause for more detailed reading. Here we have our first objectives. It is for us to read, write, and use numbers using the principle of place value in the Indo-Arabic system of numeration. Take a look at my place value chart here. It goes all the way up to the millions. Also, it gives you a taste of expanded notation where you can see how many millions I have, what's the value of the 8, what's the value of the 6, and when it comes to the 1s, because I have 0 1s, you will not see that any at all. Our second objective is to write numbers in exponential form. For this, we will be doing an assimilation where you will look at my screen and we will go through an example together. All right, here it is. We will be looking on the number two, that's my base number, and it will be raised to a power of four, an exponent, all right? Now, let us see what this really represents. Here I am circling my base number. Afterwards, I will identify my exponent or my, the number in which my number is raised to my power. Let us look at what it really means now. Yes, this means 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. 
that is 2 multiplied by 2 4 times and that is 16 let us look at some interpretation that some persons have that is not correct if you if you think that this means 2 times 4 then you would not have the correct interpretation let us look at another way that persons misinterpret this if you say this is 2 plus 4 then you are also incorrect remember now it is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 so the exponent tells you how many times to multiply the number by itself next objective is for us to identify members of finite and infinite sets before we do so, let us pause to refresh our memories of what is a set. You can pause and go through, but I will say that you should remember that a set is a collection of items, usually of the same kind. Pause and read through. Now here we have the types of sets. They are subsets, equivalent sets, equal sets, finite sets, and infinite sets. In order to remember these, I encourage you to pause and read through in details. I have pulled finite and infinite sets because it is what the curriculum stresses. I have placed some examples here based on the definitions before, use your knowledge and sort this list out. To see which is finite and which would be infinite pause and try this one our next objective is for you to use the symbols associated with set operations specifically the intersection and the union here we have the symbols and their meanings we have our braces or empty and null set element of or a member of not an element of or a member of or intersection symbol and or union symbol ensure you know these symbols our next objective is to associate the members of a set with the properties of that set. Now we will be putting the symbols that we just looked at into practice, specifically the symbol for the union and intersection, also the element of symbol, which is our braces. Take a good look at what is here, the example and how these symbols are used. Our next objective is to draw Venn diagrams to show the intersection and the union of two sets. So we will now be applying the knowledge and creating, generating our very own Venn diagrams to show the union and the intersection. To help you to revise as best as possible, you will be trying some examples on your own by doing some activities. For this, you can show it to somebody who is knowledgeable, you can show it to your teacher, you can show it to a friend, sister, an older relative who can assist you with completing this. Here is activity one. 
you are to find the intersection and the union of the following sets. Remember, the union is everything. Let me repeat, the union is everything in both sets. You only write them once. The intersection is what is common between those two sets. Here is activity two. You will also be finding the intersection and the union. Remember, the intersection is what is common between the two in this case. And the union is everything from set S and T in this example. You only write them once. Try putting this on a Venn diagram. Awesome! I know you have done an excellent job. Kudos to you. Now you are ready for your test. Click the link in the description to complete your test. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. All the best on your upcoming tests. Take care.